it No gunshots, but they getting Hey, what's up you guys, Craft Farms here, and welcome back to another video. So first off, I want to say sorry that this is going to be a little bit late. <coughs> it's almost 3.30, and usually Sunday videos go up at 4, but uh, obviously that won't happen. Um, but we're here on my map, working more on the roads. I got a f bit more done since the update video. And uh, doing a bit more here. Um, but I think I have enough that I can do a field. No, I do not. Shoot. Okay. I guess not. I have a long ways to go. So this is just going to have to run all the way up, I guess. About all there is to it. So I'm going to make these a little bit longer. Not a whole terrible lot, but just enough. So the next video will work on uh, fields. On finishing those up. Oh, sorry about that. So I am going to go back and like adjust the terrain, of course, as well. But, huh. So yeah, I'm going to just finish laying the road out, and then I'll go back and I'll remove, or I'll adjust all the terrain on it, and then go back and remove all the grass. I did think about uh, just running a strip of grass down the center of this to make it seem like this is a section line, but I don't know. I haven't decided yet. You guys tell me, what do you think? Would it look <coughs> Would it look better like this or like this? Whoa. 
Okay, never mind. It won't look. It won't even work. That looks just ridiculous. So yeah, scrap that idea. definitely tell that this section of the map is nowhere near flat it has flat spots but it's not entirely flat which the whole map it just has kind of spots of flatness Cause the real area is like 90% flat, but there are definitely some hills in it. That is for sure. Uh, we're getting close. Quite a ways down here now. I'm definitely glad to be working on this again. Um, really just want to try and get this thing done soon. Along with the equipment for it. <clears throat> Which as soon as I'm done doing this video. Um, depending on where I'm at when I'm done with it. I'll see, you know, like if the road, if this road isn't finished by the time the video is done, um, then I'm going to finish it, and then I'm going to go and work on uh, some of the equipment. I may do a live stream during it. I don't know. We'll see what happens. Oops, that's not what I wanted. Just want to make sure that my uh, headset has not died on me. I used it for a while last night, uh, watching a movie to keep myself awake. Um, because this morning, I had to work from 1.30 a.m. till 4.30 a.m. Because uh, there was... A school that had their after prom party at Sky Zone, so had to work over that, and so I decided I'd come home and watch a movie, and use that to keep myself awake, and it worked, because I knew that if I would fall asleep, I would not wake up. There'd be no way.
in a way it would almost be easier to remove the grass and then mess with the terrain but the only bad part with that is that then you can't quite always see where the edge of the road piece is so then I would end up not removing enough grass or removing too much which could easily be you know could go back and remove more or go back and add some but I'd kind of rather not We're on 101. These are a whole lot easier to do than fences, that's for sure. So the real road doesn't really go straight like this one is, but this is how I want to do it. So we're almost to the edge, finally. 108 pieces, and that covers a long ways, especially now with them being you know, a little bit bigger than normal. Definitely kind of boring doing these roads. I'm just ready to do the farms and all that other fun stuff. Because that stuff actually is fun. Building a farmyard and all that good stuff. I'm definitely glad I chose to do only a 4x map instead of like a 16x or something. I think 4x is plenty big for me. I don't mind a 16x, but it's just a little, a little too big. It's good for like multiplayer, but for single player, not so much. 
You definitely have to run a lot of course play then. We're almost to the edge, finally. Good enough. 133 road pieces there. Doesn't uh, doesn't actually look too bad though. Looks like a fairly decent looking road. I don't know about you guys, but I like it. Okay, so now comes the fun part. And that is said with sarcasm. Because this part's not fun at all. It's not hard, though, either, so... It's just a pain. Although this actually doesn't look quite as bad as I thought it would. In fact, let's go ahead and remove this grass right now. That'll maybe make it a little bit easier to see too. So I just kind of keep steady as I can and just kind of go the same way. I can uncover all of this grass and Removing this grass will make it easier to see like where the low spots are, the high spots, like right there's one. So then you can just quick change over. Bada bing, bada boom. Done. So you can kind of do both as you go, I guess. Okay, so we'll just finish this road up, get it done, because why not? Holy smokes. 
takes a while to get down there. Which I did have the timer only set for 20 minutes as well. So that way I can kind of get it edited faster and uploaded faster. But. Well, it'll as long as it goes up, I guess. It just won't be on time today. Next week, I promise, will be better. I can guarantee it because... I'm going to get ahead on the recordings, so that way at night all i got to do is just edit it and upload it. Uh, so the Oliver 1955 pack is uploaded to FSUK. Uh, just waiting to see, waiting for it to get tested, basically. Uh, the day that I uploaded it, I think it said, like, the waiting time for testing is, like, two weeks. <clears throat> or something like that. So, uh, I think I uploaded it maybe almost a week ago. I know that's only been like maybe three days, four days. So, you know, another ten days or so, and it should be done and uh, ready to rock. Getting close, finally.
almost done, finally. Even though I've said that like a couple of times, but now we are actually almost done. All right, there's the edge. All right, cool. Okay, guys. So that'll do it for this video. In the next one, I will um, we'll work on adding in field over here, and then. Uh, yeah, then we'll go from there and see where we end up. So, thanks for watching, you guys. As always, if you enjoyed the video, be sure to hit that thumbs up button. If you're new to the channel, welcome to the channel. Be sure to subscribe if you like what you see. Be sure to check out down below in the description for my PC specs, as well as my upload schedule, plus links to all of my social medias and some other cool YouTube channels that are worth taking a look at. Thanks for watching, you guys, and as always... We'll see you tomorrow.